hello gems welcome back welcome back welcome back to your no contact read you guys so this is going to be your no contact read for the person that you're thinking about the person that's on your mind the person that's thinking about you let's see what the energy is for you guys so if this does resonate go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up here on the white tee um, if it doesn't resonate i will have the playlist linked below in the description for those of you who want a personal reading with me hit me up at the scene tarot at gmail.com we have four different offers until the end of this month you guys we have a first time offer which is $45 for 20 minutes we do have three more offers $35 for five questions so if you're going to book the $35 offer you guys for five questions just know that it's only for five specific questions there's no advice added to that package and then we also have a $60 package which is for 28 minutes which is more lengthy and that comes with advice and also we have the $70 offer which is 30 eight minutes okay all right so <laughs> just felt like we needed to get out that all of that out of the way um let's see what we have let's see what we have for you all right so gemini's no contact please divine what's the energy i've seen the ace of cups with a double energy you guys so look at that the double energy we have the Queen of Cups. So someone clearly wanted a connection here or something deep. And this person wasn't ready or this person was into uh, a relationship or situation with someone already. This is what I'm seeing. It's like I'm saying this and Scorpio had the same energy. But <laughs> let's see. Let's see what we have. Let's see what's coming out here for you. Gemini, no contact today. Okay, let's see what we have for Gemini's please. Thank you, Divine. Gemini's energy. Ooh, the Knight of Pentacles. Someone is coming towards you. They're like, give me some time, please. Uh, I feel like this person at this present moment just isn't giving you what you want. Isn't giving you what you want here. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Look at all these pentacles. It's all about stability in this connection. Wow, pentacles again pentacles again okay so tell me more gemini's please okay so we have the five of ooh, the ten of pentacles oh wow so a lot of you planned a future with this person every time i see the ten of pentacles it's like this foundation that was planned and um a lot of you of course could have lived together and suddenly this person is just an is a no-go i'm seeing a conflict here that um you and this person had it was like a, a huge misunderstanding from some of you you didn't get the clarity that you wanted from this energy either and now this person's like returning to actually solve this because now they figure that this ten of pentacles is definitely something that they want to have with you you know this family this home is important to them this relationship this foundation the plans that you guys talked about is important to them the plans that you guys have made is important to them um i'm feeling like this person has a long way of growth okay you're dealing with the knight of pentacles a very slow energy and i feel like this person is giving you the four of pentacles within this relationship so this person was either broke or didn't have any form of money to actually support this relationship or this person energy was already invested in someone else. We're going to see what this is, but this person is saying like, wow, you know, the four of pentacles, that's what I had to offer. And a lot of you like let this person go because of this, the four of pentacles energy. It was on only on their time when they want to see you, when they need you, you couldn't make plans with this person. Every time you made plans, they were kind of busy that something was happening this person didn't show up some of you this person could have ghosted you or avoided you at a date that they're supposed to pick you up in no call no show and this really hurt your feelings you know um it's like they change they change up a lot of their plans with you at the last minute I'm seeing no investment here. Like they couldn't invest. Something was holding them back. I'm also seeing a huge loss. A huge loss. Tell me what's going on here. This energy. No contact for gems. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So we have a third party situation here. So this they met this person at work. 3-3. Three, three. 
I'm also seeing anxiety when it comes to the truth here. This is no communication between you and this person. So they could have even worked with their, their person. This is what I'm seeing that they met this person at work. I'm seeing like they're still with this person. Something about this energy is just like... Ace of Pentacles. They could be going through a separation. Because <sighs> I'm seeing the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. But for some reason, now they're kind of like wondering like <sighs> if they should come back to this Ten of Pentacles energy. It's like crazy energy. This is what I'm picking up here. Like, uh. Maybe I should go back and try to solve this five of pentacles, this five of wands energy, six of wands. It's like you kind of, you, you were disappointed in this person. Like you found out the truth. You already know who this is. Like you found out the truth and you kind of like, wow, this person abandoned you, make you feel very lonely within this relationship. Um, for those of you who thought that you were, if that you had a title with this person, it's kind of like, wow, you're realizing that, damn, this person really took you for a ride. Um, you did everything for this person. You did everything for this person to try to make their lives better or try to make them happy. But I'm seeing like they were just never happy here. Okay, so tell me more. Wow, they're coming in, but I feel like this person is about themselves energy. Just like with the Knight of Pentacles, you know, more are more down to earth, so they could be balanced out a little bit. But I feel like with this Knight of Swords energy that I just saw rushing in, it's like right now it's about themselves, you know, it's about them. All right, and how they feel. This happened a while back because I'm seeing like this um, Three of Swords energy. And I'm seeing that um, whatever this is, it's just like you moved on from this, like you knew about this. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Oh my God, juggling childish energy. This person kind of disappeared on you. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles, also the King of Cups, Energy, the Page of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups, Energy. So we have the Queen of Swords, Energy. There's no communication. Um, for both of you, like you just don't care to communicate with this person. This person is not trying to communicate with you at this moment. I just feel like in the future, it's looking like a more solid communication, you know, because this is a slow process. This is not now energy. Um, I feel like this person distanced themselves from you, um, especially when you found out about this Two of Pentacles energy. Um, they may appear to be very successful here. This is what I'm seeing at the time when you guys met. But why am I hearing Manipulation 101? Because it's like... They didn't give you that offer, you know, that that relationship, that that commitment, that that their heart within this connection. And I feel like they when it comes to stability, that wasn't even there either. But I'm seeing like this person does want a second chance with you. OK, um, let's see. I'm not seeing any wands, though, like um any night uh like the king of wands energy moving in let's see this person's energy hold on let's just tap into this person's energy gems and just use another deck and see what we have here what's this person's energy for gems what's their energy for gems 
No contact, please. What's their energy for gems? This person that's coming through for gems. What's their energy for gems? What is their energy for Gemini? What is their energy for Gemini? What is their energy for Gemini? Let's see what we have here. For Gemini. Okay, so let's see what this person energy is. Ooh. Wow. Here we have it. The Queen of Cups energy. So they're seeing they have love for you. They do have love for you. Wow. The 1111 here. This is why they're trying to return. They want a relationship. They want to give you an offer but there's not a decision that has made here yet like a complete decision of when they're coming in and when they're trying to create this let me just put something on this deck i didn't realize this was like nude oh, nude energy on here with my cards and i really don't want to get flagged on youtube you guys and i'm seeing buttocks showing here within this um judgment right now and i'm like no let me cover you guys butts because i will not be going through this i thought i did all of the covering on these decks but i guess i missed a card nice buttocks but no <laughs> no period <laughs> Yeah, so judgment is coming up. So um, Aries energy for those of you. So they do want a future with you. This is what I'm seeing here. They do see a future with you in the future. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Now I'm seeing this person rushing in. This was my concern because I didn't see the wands of this these these this people this person. Okay. Um, then I'm seeing the Six of Swords energy. So it's like they changed this. They made a decision within this change and they really just, it's like they didn't want this. You know, they didn't, it's like they're still moving forward. But at the same time, it's like this energy, this intuition is like luring them back to, okay, be very careful. Is this what you want? Is this really what you want kind of energy? It's like they look at you as a peer, like, you know, like uh, you, you look good together, you your your work very well together. A lot of you could have met this person at work as well. This is what I'm hearing. I'm seeing the Ace of Pentacles here. So this person wants to build a foundation with you. Uh, this person sees you as the Ace of Pentacles. The two of um, wands energy. Yeah, there's an incompletion here. And they know there's an incompletion here. They feel it within the world. Tell me more. Tell me more. We have the devil energy. So this person is stuck with someone else or have some something that's going on here. They feel like they're chained to something. They feel stuck. They're trying to figure things out here. This, this has been happening for a while. I feel like this person is the one that took a break or kind of stepped away from this connection because they're bringing that up. Like they stepped away. They needed time to think, time to get together, time to get it together, time to make a plan. Like I'm seeing like this person trying to make some kind of plan. And now I'm seeing like this person is excited. Look at this, uh, the page of wands energy here. Then we have the knight of wands energy. A lot of like thinking, a lot of um, planning, a lot of movement. This is what I like to see, the movement um, towards you. Okay, so rushing in. They don't want, they, they have this fear of... Um, it's crazy because the Knight of Wands is actually like, oh my God, they don't want this to change. They're not ready to let you go. They're rushing in. Um, and then we have the Six of Swords energy, what kind of like a similar energy is like this change is happening that they're really not sure about, you know, and they're going back within their head like this, this a fear change It's like a change that they thought that was needed. But in reverse, it's like not really like, oh my God, I made a drastic move, maybe a little bit too soon. And it's like they're really thinking about this in this moment. Okay. 
All right, we have here the Knight of Pentacles energy. Wow. We have a few cards here. They really thought this was the right thing for, for them because you were leaving, you wanted to leave. Um, and so they made the decision to do that. This is what I'm seeing. I just back away from this connection. There was just too many secrets, too many, you know, wants, too many being guarded or, um, you know, you couldn't reach them. You couldn't move in. You couldn't, you know, you didn't feel like you had a bond, you know, that you wanted to have with this person. I'm also seeing like you lost yourself within this connection. And this person is like the wanting to give something back to you. A lot of you could have loaned this person some form of money. And now they want to give you some kind of new money, some kind of opportunity. So this person could be someone that you work with and is giving you that opportunity. <laughs> um, oh my God, if you guys are dating your boss, oh my God, not a good idea. But I'm seeing like this new opportunity, like they're trying to give you back things that you have lost. They're trying to think they're trying to um plan this is what i'm seeing here there's so many energies that are also coming through that has a problem with your connection with this person and this person has been trying to keep the peace for a very long time i'm seeing seven months exactly or um this could be seven weeks of a disaster okay um again with the eight of uh, cups energy here it's just been going on for this amount of time and i feel like a lot of you are like you know what the best thing for me to do at this moment with this seven of wands energy and this eight just put it together and say maybe i should move on um and i'm seeing the four of pentacles like someone here was holding on very strongly on this relationship and trying to make it work with the four of wands and for pentacles four of pentacles energy excuse me because i feel like this person is involved with someone else that's what i'm seeing like they're in a situation here because they cannot give you anytime i see the four of pentacles energy I just feel like this person cannot give you them their whole self, if that makes sense. I'm also seeing the Ten of Cups energy, something to do with a family situation. Like they have a family already, children. They have someone, a partner, and they only give you the Four of Pentacles. All right, so tell me more, tell me more, tell me more. Um, four gems, four gems. Tell me more, tell me more, tell me more of this no contact situation tell me more okay let's see what we have here i feel like a fear of communication like this person wants to have a relationship but i feel like the relationship that they want is like i don't want to be controlled please don't control me because you can't you know kind of vibe that's what I'm, I'm feeling here like this um really stubborn devil egonistic person a lot of ego here so don't um expect a apology from this person it's going to take a lot for this person to apologize I'm also seeing like um, a power struggle to try to take control of this relationship. I'm seeing the tower here, Aries and Scorpio's energy for those of you who are dealing with that, that particular energy. All right. The three of pentacles work situation for those of you who are working together or have a business together. Yeah, this person, something is holding back this person. The lovers in reverse is also coming out here. And I'm also seeing the five of cups energy. We have your intuition and how you feel about this connection along with the chariot. This person is not making a choice to come towards you. Like something is holding back this person for some reason. It's like, and it's funny how they're going to try to approach. They're going to try to see if um, whatever they put together, this plan is going to help this connection. It's like they're going to be, they're going to try. But at the same time, when it comes to their love and the stability, this is what is missing. This is what is missing in, in this connection. And to choose you and to make sure that you feel like this, like you're the only one, like you're the one that they want to be with. This is what is missing. I feel like they're taking, they're, they're going back and forth or they're playing games or they're making you feel like you're just not that person. Um, I'm seeing the, the no connection here. I'm seeing the separation here. I'm seeing the no change. The lesson here has not been completed. 
Look at the world. Look at the Ace of Swords here. No communication, no change, no breakthrough, no clarity between you and this person. Um, no truth. The truth is missing out of this connection. And this is why this ended so quickly within Tower, um, within this power struggle. I feel like it's a lot to do with this ego energy that I'm seeing here. A lot of confidence was missing. A lot of power was missing from this connection. This person put a lot of seeds in your head. This is what I'm seeing here. And you kind of believe them too. You believe this person um, for a very, very long time. And I'm seeing for those of you with the lovers in reverse, like this person really control you sexually. Like really they have this under the map with you like you enjoy this person this person enjoys you it's morally like what started between you guys were forbidden this was forbidden i'm hearing forbidden fruit here i'm hearing temptation i'm hearing like this shouldn't have happened but it happened and it kind of like developed into something more but yet this person was already involved with someone else this is the energy that i'm picking up and you know what scorpio had the same energy so for those of you who are with a scorpio because scorpio aries is coming out here you need to go and watch that video because i feel like this is something similar to that energy i'm also seeing like you're feeling very abandoned very sad very you know like you felt like this person betrayed you like you did everything that you could have done to make this relationship work and you're here standing on your own um and here trying to make a decision whether you want to stay and whether you need to go whether you're needed here anymore but you for some reason i'm seeing the three of pentacles on the back of the deck so a lot of you are like damn i don't regret our meet it meet it meet, meet in meet up you know our reunion or reunion or union union <laughs> of being together or you know um experiences together like you don't regret this but you do feel like you are highly disappointed in this connection like this could have been so much more but i'm seeing like you're going to be getting back like this person knows that you're not going to be staying into this this restriction for many for a very long time because this is what they wanted they wanted you to stay into this restriction but i'm hearing that you need to follow your intuition because you already know um what's going on gemini's but let's just tap into um this person's feelings for you okay and see what we can get and then we're going to tap into your feelings, all right? So we're going to use this card or this deck for their feelings, all right? So what's going on for this person's feelings towards gems? What this person feelings towards gems? What's this person's feelings towards gems? What's this person's feelings towards gems? person's feelings towards gems thank you divine thank you source thank you Lord. thank you god Ooh, this person's feelings towards gems all right person's feelings towards gems oh my gosh someone is going through a lot of pain here they have to make a choice they have choices they have choices. Also, you're getting the Wheel of Fortune here. So they feel very faded, very, um, like there's like a good vibe with you. There's so much more things to do and to explore with you. I feel like the, the relationship, this is just not it at the moment. And they know this. They're going to have to make a choice. I feel like this person is kind of like have a different choices. I feel like you stand out the most with these choices here. Yeah, they're holding on to something with you with this four of pentacles, even if it's small. But I still feel like they're still holding on like they're not re ready yet to let go of a connection with you. This is what i'm seeing so let's just see a little bit more yep trying to plan something here but the truth is what's going to test this relationship yes divine timing is at play here sag energy is coming out i feel like this person is stressing the hell out about this situation um what they're going to have to do with this choice is who they're going to end up with who they're going to be with and they're trying to see like i feel like this person is dealing with a lot of contracts in their life at the moment because everything is intense with the world with the wheel of fortune here it's like they feel really good with you they feel like you guys can have a future together you did see the 11 11 energy but at the same time they have a lot of decision making to do um 
Look at these drinks though, all different tastes, right? But they all taste good. <laughs> so now they have to make a decision between these, these, these tastes, you know? Um, but I'm seeing like they're trying to figure things out here, but someone is going to get hurt with this lie, with this deceit. And I feel like you've been treated unfairly, so they know that they're going to be judged for this either way either way but it looks like they choose you now within the justice like you're looking like you're the top person that they want to be with at the moment within this justice like the scales have to be balanced out here so this is what i'm seeing for this person's energy you know it's going to take time this is what i'm seeing i feel like this person might be choosing themselves within this moment trying to heal it's all about healing too as well again you know these scales here let me just be a little bit nosy wow the page of swords energy yeah, they're trying to figure things out with a page of wands, page of swords. It's like they know there's a conflict here. They're aware of everything that is going on here. Very curious energy. I feel like they kind of got themselves in this situation. <sighs> but they're excited. Anytime they see you, they have butterflies. So very excited and passionate about you. Very attracted towards you. All right, um, and I feel like they want to share this with you. They want to share the truth. They, you have the justice, so this person likely, um, you know, is going to try to make their way to tell you the truth before you find out from someone else because they see that you're searching for the truth. So what is this energy? Um, what is the energy for gems towards this energy? towards this person? What is gems feelings towards this person? I'm seeing a three of swords energy. Someone is severely heartbroken within this connection. Gemini's energy for this person. Gemini's energy for this person, please. Gemini's energy for this person. Ooh. Okay, let's see. I think the divine wants me to stop um, shuffling. So let's see. Gemini's energy towards this person. Wow, you have the Wheel of Fortune too? So this is a faded um, contract for both of you. And you know it. Tell me more. Okay. Ooh. You're going single, ready to mingle. You have the Page of Cups. Wow, so you're on your way to meeting someone new. I feel like for those of you Geminis who was in the wrong, of course you're going to, you know, let this person know that you are sorry about everything that have happened. But at the same time, I don't feel like I saw any kind of communication with you either on your side when it comes to this energy. But I feel like you're going to be like you're feeling like a little bit of like whatever you said in this moment um, of, you know, this tower that happened between you and this person, like you feel Feeling some kind of remorse about that but I'm seeing like within this energy you know that there is still unfinished business between you and this person within the moon you know that this is not it you know there there's still a lesson you know that there's a contract between you and this person um, a lot of you just need a break some time to breathe some time to be free sometimes something like a vacation this is what I'm seeing or going to um, the spa or getting a massage done this is what I'm seeing here um, I'm seeing single life this is what I'm seeing. Like a lot of you are going to be hanging out with friends, um, just trying to enjoy yourself. Look, oh wow, choosing yourself. I'm seeing a lot of you moving on physically, just moving on with the Six of Swords energy and just giving back, you know, like um, building, like rebuilding on this bridge, but giving back, you know, giving back to this relationship in a positive way, maybe even a friendship way. You're like you're not like really into jumping into anything serious with this person at the moment because you're still healing. It's all about healing here, choosing yourself, nurturing yourself, being kind to yourself, understanding yourself. This is what I'm seeing here. A lot of you could be moving to another state or moving across town or moving a little bit distant from this person or having just this fresh start this is what i'm seeing but you're not um you're not opposed to not 
make the first move like you you are willing to do that within the hangman being here in the upright like you're willing to sacrifice or to just throw away the ego um because of again both of you have the stubbornness about you and because you had the tower and this person clearly had the devil energy so there's a lot of stubbornness there um so I like to try to like you're fighting you're both fighting for the 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 throne of this relationship or who is in control here or you're both fighting for this masculine energy so i'm seeing like you're trying to like okay i surrender white flag here i take you know part i take responsibility for everything that i have said to you that was not right i shouldn't have said that i shouldn't have done that in the moment of a heated conversation or conflict i just don't want to make, make to have you misunderstand how i feel for you because what i said was wrong but my feelings are are very very mutual when you know when it comes to you so I'm seeing like you understand this and this is the step that you're going to be taking so now for now I don't see that you're going to be jumping into a relationship with this person but I do feel like you are definitely sorry look at this beautiful face look at this I am sorry let me just let me just tap it see if it's gonna get dark but I just want you to say oh look how you like oh forgive me okay I am cool are you cool kind of energy <laughs> yeah you just don't want to have any any kind of negative um, vibes with this person but this is what I have for you you guys I hope that this resonates if it does you know what to do like this video give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel love you guys and I hope to see you guys in the morning bye guys